Hi everyone, I'm here again to introduce more websites of how to make learning in, interesting and fun. This time I'm going to introduce a website called Edpuzzle. You can have an app also for this. This is like having interactive video lessons. You can assign videos as homework, but the thing is they might watch it, they might skip it, we don't know. So this one helps you to make sure that they've watched it. So again in google search you need to type add puzzle and go to the website this will be what will show you when it when you type add puzzle.com you need to go to sign up i'm a teacher sign in with google or make your own account so that's it i'm just logging in because i have an account so there you go these are some of the videos which i've made if you need to create add content create a video so you can choose any channels you want. I'm going to choose YouTube. Ed Puzzle, Khan Academy, National Geographic, TED Talk. I just clicked YouTube. And let's say you are going to teach now. So you can see all kinds of videos. So let's say I choose this video. So after you choose, you have an option here. The assign. Assign is if you want to directly assign it to the students. Copy is to make a copy. Let's edit it first. Sometimes we might not need the whole video. So the first option here is cut. That means we are going to cut the video and make it shorter. I just uh, cutting it for around 46 seconds. And then once you're done, the second option here, it saves automatically. The second option here is voice over. There might be uh, times that, you know, whatever shown in the video is appropriate, but the person speaking is speaking so fast or uh, not so clear and you want to give more cl clarification you can click voice over and add start recording so the video instead of this video your voice might come uh, but i think this is fine next we go to questions this is where how we can make it interactive and make sure that they've watched it you can go to any spot over here the black dot comes just go there and add a multiple choice question, an open-ended question, or a note. So when you click a note, you can type a note here, or you can click on the microphone and voice record. So when the students reach seven seconds, the video will stop and show the note, or your voice would come there. Or let's say I want to uh, introduce a multiple choice, open-ended question maybe here. So there is no, this is to encourage critical thinking. You know, you can give feedback over here open-ended questions or my, you can go for multiple choice questions asking them questions like what is a noun let's say uh, you are giving options so this is the right option and this is the wrong option or you can give this as the wrong option and this as the right option sorry it's an action word and you might say this is a naming word you can go and add more options here another choice and say it's a, a disk and then you can say save so this question will be saved over there. so whenever they reach here the question will come up like this what is a noun and this is the correct one so this is the option you can see and now if you want to add more things you can add and when you are done you can say finish so you are done here now you can assign now, before you assign, you need to make your own classes. You can go to my classes. I have some classes over here. You can add a new class. Let's say Engl uh, yeah. English. You can give a description if you want, it's optional. And, uh, this is the classic type when they log in, you can see. And if it's open, you can give it for open also. It's like a quick practice. They can, they just need a class code to join. You can give this. Classic is they will have their own account and the progress will be shared. So it's your choice what you want to do. If you click this one, you will have, you can see how many of them saw the videos, how many of them answered, what are this. And this is just for practice. You can go for this. You could give them and Still, you can see the student uh, progress. So let's say create class. And there are no due assignments, no new uh, due dates because we have not given anything. We can go back to content. 
and we can click on the video which we have just made my content here can you see my content this is the one which i made now i click on it and i can say assign i assign it they will ask you which class you want to assign to so i want to assign to the english class you can see here there's an option called prevent skipping so if you turn on this they cannot skip the video they need to watch it they cannot just skip it if they skip it it will show that they have seen the video they when in the student progress but always it's better to prevent so they will have to watch it to answer and you can assign start date today you can change the date that date might be tomorrow you can give the due date over here uh, let's say i'm giving them four days time or three days time and you have a time also here so this is the start date and this is this and then i can click assign so as soon as i click assign the video is assigned to the student so i can see the students names here and the questions here i can edit the name over here because i don't want this whole thing i just let's say noun song or something so that you know the students will have it and you can give share assignment when you click on share assignment you can see there is a link you can copy this link and send to the students so they can go to the link and do the assignment So um, I'll show you how the content will look for students. I'll show you another one which I have made already. Uh, let's take this video, okay. And then let's say I'm assigning it to one of my classes and I'm assigned, I assign it. And then you have the option, I like I told you, share assignment, you copy the link. Now let's see how, will the students see it so let's say uh, i'm opening a new tab and then i'm just i'm just pasting the link and i'm yep you can see here yeah so here you found a class english this is the class code enter your a name so let's say i'm just entering stamp and join the open class and here comes the video they will have to play the video you like this also these are the things to do there's an open-ended question yeah uh, you have to listen to the voice g i cannot continue here so i cannot skip you can see that and i press continue it goes over again to my voice there is a voice note and then you will see the video see i cannot skip the video i tried it shows lock see i cannot skip the video so now i put an open ended question here what could be the reason try guessing your answer can be correct or wrong no problem so this is the way to, I just added this note so to encourage them to answer whatever their answer is. So they can type anything, whatever, and then uh, yeah, yeah, submit. And then continue. And you can watch it. So what I have left is, now I have left a multiple choice question. So this question towards the end, it's actually to check if they understood the video. So when we see it, you know, when we see the progress, we know if they have done it correctly or wrong. So this is the open class. Uh, you can click leave open class and leave the class. Now, if you would like to see the progress, what you have to do is we have to go to my classes. And here you can see in English class, these are the new assignments because I just find both of these and here you can see there is one new answer because one student has done it you know i just showed you as a student it shows zero of one because the student did not complete it halfway through student stopped right so when you open it shows see it watched how much 70 percent of the video has been watched there is no grade because you did not grade it because one answer you have to grade and we did not do the multiple choice question you know when they have watched it 
and when you click on it you can see sam is the one who did it okay and the answer is here just i typed f so i can go click on comment and say any comment give a feedback for the student you can put comment so the student if they are having a an account they can see what it is and we can give the grade over here it was correct one so we gave the grade so that's it there is the one answer which uh, new answer which was shown here is gone because we have graded it so that's it i hope uh, if you have understood how this works i know it has to be a, actually a workshop i am trying to explain everything in uh, less time i hope you have understood waiting to see your comments in the comment box see you again in the next video